x-ray and blood draws of class and to be doing with my doctor and yeah that's it for today. Stanford for the, for the third time in like two weeks. I just finished my chest x-ray and um, blood work. So I think I'm done with my testing. Um, I have a meeting with my doctor and I have a class for my catheter and self-injection. So, and then I'll be back here for to get blue out. My final days with her. Just got out of surgery. I haven't even seen it. I'm so sore. Yesterday I didn't update, like, on video or anything, I don't think. Um of after the metaphor being taken out and the catheter put in so i was super anxious about the whole thing and i told the doctor the nurse whatever um that i was super anxious and then she's like okay i'll take care of you and i was like okay and then um she, i remember her saying like two times like she was telling the doctor how much medicine she put in and it's like okay some more some more and then after that like I think I fell asleep maybe I don't know but towards the end I remember her because my face was covered and like but there was like a little tunnel to see out I seen her and like I was like because eh, eh, I started feeling pain um they want to say that's when they're stitching me up or something I don't know um but yeah, so I didn't, I'm pretty sure I slept throughout the whole thing. Because I remember like kind of waking up when I my sleep and being like, someone saying, oh, she's snoring or something. <clears throat> so, I mean, I must have fell asleep, <laughs> finally. But then again, I stayed up for 24 hours, almost 24 hours, just so I would sleep during it. Um, so yeah. Um, it really didn't hurt. I mean, I don't remember it. Hopefully, I slept through all of it. Um, yeah, I did sleep all of it, actually. Um, or I was out of it, to if you remember it. Um, but yeah, afterwards, I was just super sore. I'm still super sore right now, but it's only the second day that I had it. And like when I lift or I get up or something, it really hurts. Um, it's just so sorry right now. Just, just, I mean, it was messed with. So, yeah, that happened. Did that. Yeah. Um, and then afterwards, the whole day, I was just, like, super in and out of it just because they gave me so much medicine to not, like, sedate me. Um, and then plus, I was just so exhausted from me up for, like, 20-something hours. Like, it was just, I was just exhausted. Like, yesterday after, I had, like, to get fluids and, like, a bunch of meetings with people and stuff. And I, I my mom said I fell asleep during one of them, so, I mean, <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, we only have one more day left here, and then go home, and I'm on New Virgin for seven to ten days, so, not excited about giving myself self-injections, <laughs> so it's day two, and I just finished um, my chemo. I don't know how to say it, so I'm not going to try to. <laughs> um, it was about two hours long and <clears throat> nothing too crazy. I've already had this one before my last chemo. <clears throat> um, I just feel like super drunk and like 
No. <laughs> I keep blowing pee a lot. Um. Oh yeah. Um. What I also noticed too is like right before I ate, like when I was using fluids, I ate. Um, and I tasted everything fine, but like now I'm eating food. And I can't taste anything. Like maybe it's just the hospital food, but I mean it would have a little taste, right? Uh, I don't know, I just can't taste it. I can taste like the chicken. Does that makes sense? I don't know. Um so I don't know, maybe it's due to that. Maybe it's just me being crazy. Or maybe it's just like the hospital food. I'm not too sure. But yeah um so i'm in here for about a couple more hours and then i'm gonna go home well not home home but like where i'm staying home <laughs> and then i come back tomorrow like afternoon and get myself unplugged from this well i'm not that <clears throat> And then I have to start wearing that HEPA mask today, so I'm not excited at all. So. I've been on the two shots self-injections for about a week. Um, and my counts are down, of course. Um, right now I'm doing a blood transfusion, and this is my first one ever, so just freaking out a little bit. Um, tomorrow I'll be the rest. I left my doctor's and, or my oncology office for my labs. Um, I've been doing labs since, so I've been doing labs, um, every day since, I want to say, Thursday, April 28th, and today is Monday, what is it, May 2nd, um, and my nurse just let me know that my counts are at 10,000. So I should be getting a call from Stanford sometime today. And I should be up at Stanford tomorrow by like 7 a.m. I am a hot mess. I started crying. My nurse hugged. And I'm just like, ah. I'm just a hot mess. I have been crying like for everything. And I'm just an emotional wreck. I, that's why I have glasses on. Oh, I didn't see it. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm almost done, and I'm finally see the end, and I'm so excited, and, like, it's been a long, like, year and a half, almost, I don't even know how long it is anymore. <laughs> So I just finished editing the vlog and I realized I kind of just cut it off to where I was just shaving my head. Um, I lost some of my footage so it's kind of like patchy. So here's a little update what you guys miss. Um, so once I got my counts up I went to stand for the next day and I collected my stem cells. It took me two days. It was so uncomfortable for me. I had to stay in one position, hold my pee, and be miserable for about four hours each session. So I was miserable for about eight hours. Um, it, the whole, like the actual collecting part, it was nothing. It was like just being connected to an IV. Um, I mean, you don't even feel it. I mean, the only thing I can really think of is I got like cold, but um. 
I had blankets, so it was fine. Um, it was nothing, I guess. It was just the whole, like, staying in one place, because one of my catheters was, like, really sensitive. So, yeah, that was the only uncomfortable part. Um, we came back home, and they said I'm on a regular diet, because I was on a micro something diet, where I can only eat, like, packaged foods and, like, only at home and, like, no, like, fast food, nothing like that. So, if I said I'm on a regular diet, um, no PEPA mask unless I'm at the hospitals or if I'm in a huge crowds. So, pretty much I was back to normal. Um, what else? Um, so then I've been home for about a week and I had, I have 10 days off until I go back to Stanford. So probably next Tuesday, I think I go back to Stanford and I get a dose of chemo. I'm not too positive if I'm admitted yet, like admitted for that. I think it's outpatient. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that next week. Um, and then this weekend, I'm going to Beyonce, so maybe I'll put some footage in the next vlog for that, um, if I remember, because I forgot to record during Relay, and all I got was pictures, so hope you enjoy the little slideshow, if I remember to put it in. Um... That's pretty much it, and then the week after that, I'm actually admitted to the hospital for the transplant, and my transplant date is June 1st, so my second birthday will be June 1st, and it's kind of cool because my real birthday is August 1st, so I say next year we're going to celebrate June 1st until August 1st. I think I like that idea. Um... But yeah, that's my chance one day. I plan to vlog the next time I go. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that because, I mean, it's only two days. So, not sure how I'm going to divide up the vlogs yet. But, there will be more vlogs and I will edit them, like, sooner. Because, I mean, all this footage before this was about two weeks ago. I'm really bad at that. And I'm going to try to be better about updating on my cancer gram. If you guys don't follow that, it is Johnny Marie with two E's, two. Um, I will put it down in the description box. And if you want to follow my personal Instagram, I will link that below. And my Snapchat because everything pretty much... Pretty much everything that's in the vlog is in there and some more random stuff. I think my Snapchat is pretty cool. So, no, but if you want to keep up with me, I will put all of my links down below. And yeah, that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for following my journey. I hate that word. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for your support. Um, and if you guys comment on my Facebook stuff or my Instagram stuff, I do see it. I just, I really don't know how to respond. So, thank you guys for that. And yeah, that's it for now. And next time you see me, you will be seeing me on Sunday. Okay, bye guys.